What's up guys, it's your boy in Town Craft Studios here and welcome back to another predictions and ideas video. I haven't made a lot of these. So last time I did Animal Crossing for Switch predictions and now I'm going to do the one I said I was going to do next, Wii's Mansion 3. Um, let's just start this off. So I'm going to start off with story. Um, I'm not expecting a really deep story. I'm not, I'm not expecting anything that deep. Here's my prediction to the potential story. Essentially, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad, they all go on some sort of vacation because that works out great. I mean, remember the other times? But even then, um, when they go there, uh, get they check into this hotel, and it seems very, very normal at first, not too weird. And then eventually they settle in and probably sleep for a night. Next morning, Luigi eventually wakes up in his bed, only to find that Mario isn't there, and neither is Peach or Toad, and essentially, the hotel is haunted at this point. Luigi would try to get out, but essentially, the doors are locked, so essentially, the only real thing he can do is just take down whatever ghastly force is running this ominous hotel. He then eventually finds help from Professor Gad, and... Professor Yeah gives Luigi the Poltergeist 6000 and basically sends him on his journey to save his friends and stop King Boo. That's my main prediction for the story. I really don't expect anything deeper than that. And even then, if that is the story, I'm fine with that. I mean, it's not like I'm really expecting anything very deep, but it's just like, even just if it was a little different, that'd be nice. And I definitely do enjoy it. And yeah, it has been used in other games, but even then, I'm fine with it regardless. I I'm, I'm, an, I'm I'll like it. Um, next, I'm going to go into gameplay. Now, we already seen um, from the reveal trailer um, multiple gameplay things to you. Will. It'll basically be like Dark Moon, where you're going to use a stroll ball. Um, you're most likely going to have be able to like have the same power gauge when you're catching the ghosts. Um, and we also saw two new abilities, I believe. Um, one of them being a jetpack ability, um, basically um, allowing Luigi to somewhat jump in the game. Um, and then another one we saw was the plunger firing ability, where basically he can switch his flashlight with a plunger and can hit a ghost with it. Now, what are my theories on this? Well, in the reveal trailer, it did not show when the plunger was fired at the ghost, it didn't show its health disappearing. However, Luigi was able to land the attack perfectly. So, my theory is that with the plunger, most likely, maybe you'll be able to possibly, when you use this, you might be able to keep one of the ghosts distracted. That way you can have less ghosts to deal with. Because when you look at the dining room, sh dining room shot from earlier in the trailer, you can see that there's a lot of ghosts, and it's believed that they all start at 100 health, which is way higher than the 10 health that the Greenies had. It could mean some other gameplay thing that's going to be implemented later on. It could have a much stronger power gauge or something like that, or they're just going to be at 100, or maybe you can keep them at bay like that. Though, the next question is, are you going to have unlimited plungers, or is it going to be limited ammo? I'm personally thinking limited ammo. I don't really think that there's going to be unlimited ammo. You Possibly through an upgrade, you could make it so that way you could have like two or three plungers. But I'm not expecting unlimited plungers. I'm expecting limited ammo, and it looks like most likely, in order to get the plunger back, you'll mostly have to suction it back into the vacuum considering um, it, when he, Luigi hit the ghost with the plunger um, it showed a rope it wasn't a normal wooden handle like the one that was showing the Simon Belmont reveal trailer for Smash Bros Ultimate where we actually first saw the poltergeist in action though not as effective so I'm guessing the, on, the only way you'll be able to get the plungers back in is to suction them back up and I don't really know how else this can be used outside of the port of ghosts. Maybe you can plaster it on something. I'm not sure. Um, jetpack ability wise, I'm not really sure how much further it's going to go other than like the moving carpet and possibly other floor things. I'm not sure. Although it would be interesting if maybe you could like upgrade it so you could jump higher to like reach higher places. That'd be cool. But probably not. Probably not. 
Um, but I'm not really expecting anything else for gameplay. I'm expecting it to basically be like it is as it's shown. Maybe a little few more things added here and there, but I'm not expecting too much. Um, next I'm going to go into modes. Um, essentially, um, I'm kind of assuming that this, well, it's obviously going to have a story mode. But is it going to be one mansion or multiple mansions? Well, we can't say exactly for sure yet, but it's very likely it's going to be one mansion in this form, in the form of a hotel. And I think that's a really cool idea. Now, in the fact of climbing up to the top could mean that since it is going back to one mansion, mission structures from Dark Moon could be gone. Now, I don't know how they're going to replace this or if they're just not going to do it at all. Um, I definitely think that it's very likely that we're not going to have a mission structure. And that you'll be more open. That'd be my theory. Especially considering if they're going to be, like, putting the... Th like, considering that that this whole mission structure thing was kind of a dark moon since it was a handheld. And even then, they're putting, they put Luigi's Mansion in the original on the 3DS, and that doesn't have a mission structure. So I'd assume probably not a mission structure. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's like more hotels or something like that, but I really wouldn't want to think that. Really, I'm not, I'm on either side. It's like, I'm fine with the mission structure, but I'm also fine with open world. Honestly, open world would be better personally since you can like play more at one time the mission structure makes sense in dark moon but it's like even then i don't know if it's the best game to play on the go the nintendo switch is a game system where you can play anywhere you want and having being able to play easily is really good being able to just turn it on for just like a good a small amount of time and just being able to clear one room of ghosts simple as that um, now this concept was touched before in Dark Moon with Scarescraper, um, where you had to climb through a tower. Um, and while well, yeah, it is definitely true, Scarescraper, I'm not sure if it was canon or not. I don't think it was canon. And second of all, it looks like here, it looks a lot more like an actual tower. Scarescraper kind of looked like, it had a random map layout and stuff that just was kind of put there for reasons. I'm not sure. And speaking of which, there's a segue right there into a multiplayer mode. I want another multiplayer mode. I think that Scarescraper was cool, but maybe if it was a little more robust, maybe if they could just, I don't know, maybe what if, what if okay, listen to this. What if they made a zombies mode? So maybe it could be like a zombies mode where you and maybe three other players, you can play locally or online, you can like go into this one map. It's like Salmon Run, where you go into this map and you and the other three Luigis all have to collect some sort of thing or stay alive as ma as many waves of zombies as possible, like zombie-like ghosts. That would be an amazing multiplayer mode because it would just be really, really cool. I honestly would personally love that because a zombies mode would just be the one thing. Like, it would make sense. Like. Well, come on, tell, please tell me that's a cool concept. I think a zombies mode would be really awesome. I think it would be real, it would be a better way to evolve the multiplayer. Or maybe they could do something as simple as being able to hand a Joy-Con to your friend and you can both be playing the story mode at the same time. I think it's possible, but I'm not sure. Possibly locally, but then again, yeah, I'd say so. Um, and that's really all I got for modes. I'm not expecting anything else. Possibly, maybe, if you beat the game, if it is going to be one mansion and it's not mission structured, potentially they could have another form of it as, like, the hidden mansion, like the PAL hidden mansion in the original game, where you have a heart where it's, like, in, re like, the whole mansion is, like, mirrored, and it's, like, there's more ghosts and you take more damage. Um, I think that would be a really cool concept. And maybe even if there, it could have something where it's like, if they could bring portrait ghosts back from the first game, and it's like when the first game's 3DS port where you can like refight portrait ghosts, that would be a cool idea where you can just go back and refight portrait ghosts. That'd be a good way to add replayability to the game. Yeah, it wouldn't be perfect like Dark Moon, but even then, it would still be fun. And even on that note, portrait ghosts, please, I want portrait ghosts. 
that's just the one thing out. That's one thing I want. Portrait ghosts. Because I'm not really expecting the, them to make the game any more dark. I mean, we've already seen it's going to be graphically similar to Dark Moon. And that, you know what? That's perfectly fine. I really don't care too much. I would have wanted darker graphics or graphics new to the series for Nintendo Switch. But it would be really, really, really cool if even then they could have Portrait Ghost. Because Portrait Ghost is just what could make it seem so much better. Yeah. So anyways, that's pretty much all the predictions I have regarding the game. Um, I really just, I just want this to be good. I don't want this to be a lazy job like Mario Tennis Aces was where it was like, they put it out and they just did not do a good job. This is Luigi's Mansion. Please, Nintendo, if someone's watching this, please, please make this Luigi's Mansion the Luigi's Mansion game we should be playing in 2019. This needs to be big. Especially since you've had plenty of time to think about it. You've had pretty much five years to really think about it. I'm counting on you, Nintendo. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe if you guys agree with my uh, predictions. And let me know in the comment section any other hopes you guys want for Luigi's Mansion 3. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.